These are black and white developers. Most black and white developers come in a concentrate, meaning they need to be diluted before you could use it. And that's what this number refers to. One to four means one part developer, four parts water. Each developer has its own dilutions, and you could have different dilutions depending on how you want to develop your film. For example, with Rodinol, you could do 1 to 25, 1 to 50, 1 to 100, and this could affect contrast, density, and grain, among other things. And when I learned how to develop film, I was always told to just dilute your film using water. It just works, so I never really had a reason to question it, until recently, when I came face to face with this. This is soda water, also known as sparkling water or seltzer water. It's just carbonated water. After looking at a bottle of this stuff, I kind of had an idea. What would happen if I dilute some developer with some carbonated water? I mean, it has water in the name. Like, what's the worst that could happen? Yeah, that's pretty bad. This film got wiped. There's no frame lines, there's no edge code, there's nothing. Just blank. I even went as far as to scan these in, just to make sure that there's absolutely nothing. Even though I knew that this was a possibility, I was sort of kind of hoping something cool would happen. Maybe pictures with like bubbles or streaks or just something, anything. But all I got is nothing. It's weird not having much expectations for something, but still being disappointed. Obviously, the CO2 messed with the development somehow, but I didn't think it was going to be this bad. And after looking at the negatives, I was ready to throw this into the pile of rejects when I spotted this. It's really hard to see, but it's the bottom half of the word film. And I used the bulk roll of Ilford HP5, and the frame edges say Ilford HP5 plus safety film. I don't know how, but something was able to develop in all of this mess. And that's when I actually started to think my process through. I probably should have done that in the beginning, but I developed this with Rodinol 1 to 50 because I am very economical with my developer. Rodinol is extremely concentrated, so. 1 to 50, that's highly diluted. So I tried it again, and I blasted through another roll, but instead I developed it with Ilford DDX. This time around, I got pictures, albeit a little thin. Now, initially I was excited because I got something, but then the disappointing reality kind of set in. There's no weird development stuff happening, no bubbles, no streaks, no splotches, nothing. Just some underdeveloped film and some underwhelming photos. I'm pretty sure I could just overdevelop it and bring back some of the density, but at this point I kind of lost interest because I went to the store and I saw this. This is some Sprite Zero Sugar. It kind of looks like water. It only has a couple of ingredients that I can't pronounce, so that's close enough for me. I shot another roll and I diluted the developer with some Sprite, and this is what the negatives look like. And with the previous results, I knew that the negatives were going to come out thin, so I ended up overdeveloping this by a few minutes, pretty much like a two-stop push, and it still came out thinner than the other one. And again, after scanning, I was kind of disappointed. Nothing crazy happened, just thin negatives. And that's kind of where I'm at with this. I eventually want to try to dial this in and see if I could get like proper densities when I dilute my developer in something else but water. And if that works, maybe I could even try going to color film, but you have to be thinking why. Why would someone go through all of this trouble? If you figure that out, could you let me know?